Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Lyons, creator of Navigating Autism and Eat to Heal Autism. This week's Ask Dr. Lyons question is, is long-term melatonin use safe? It's a great question. First, here's a warning. So the information I'm about to give you is for beginners and advanced. Melatonin is often used in the beginning of healing, but sometimes used towards the end. In the beginning, it's usually used alone and solely for sleep, but towards the end of healing, it is used in combination with other supplements. Key takeaway here is work with a knowledgeable functional medicine practitioner that knows what they're doing at each step, because many people think melatonin is just for the beginning, and it's not. Lack of sleep. All right, we know that those with autism have sleep problems. And if they're having sleep problems, that means we are having sleep problems too as parents. And that is no fun for anyone. So research has actually shown that insufficient sleep increases the severity of autism symptoms. Unbelievable, right? If you want to have someone have more severe autism symptoms, then all they need to do is not sleep. This is a really bad cycle that many of our kids are caught in. They're not getting enough sleep, then they have all these different problems and symptoms throughout the day, which then causes them to not get more sleep, and it's just a downward spiral. And so the research showed that behaviors such as aggressive behaviors, repetitive behaviors, social and communication difficulties, and total behavior problems, all of these are increased when there is insufficient sleep in the child with autism. So this is obviously a big problem for everyone and we need to solve it. Indications of need for melatonin. So melatonin is used when someone has sleep issues. That is in the beginning of the autism healing journey. Melatonin is used for sleep issues. However, melatonin at different doses are used for things such as gut motility problems, dysbiosis, cognitive issues, immune system dysregulation, detoxification problems, and high blood glucose levels. Melatonin, what is it? It is a hormone. It's a derivative of the important neurotransmitter serotonin. It's found in humans, animals, plants, and microbes. It is everywhere. It is also lipophilic. That means it's fat loving which means it can diffuse easily through biological membranes. Basically, if you put it in one area of the body, it does not necessarily have to stay there. It can diffuse easily throughout the rest of the body. That's important to know. Melatonin and autism. Melatonin is one of the most studied supplements in those with autism. There are over 20 studies in humans and most find improved sleep with minimal adverse effects. All of these studies are using doses of melatonin to impact sleep. These studies are all for focusing on sleep issues. Melatonin long-term. Parents have worried about the long-term effects of using melatonin, rightfully so. If your child's having sleep problems and they're told, okay, melatonin works, they start taking it, then it's like, wait, my child is just supposed to take melatonin for the rest of their life? What kind of impact is there? So the long-term study was just completed looking at the safety of long-term melatonin use. This study had 80 children with autism in it and they ranged in age from 2 years to 17 years old. And melatonin was used for 104 weeks and the doses there are listed. And again, this is melatonin targeting sleep issues. Conclusions. Melatonin was determined to be safe and effective for long-term treatment of sleep issues in those with autism. The study found no observed detrimental effects on children's growth and puberty development. There were no withdrawal or safety issues related to the use or discontinuation of melatonin. And I just want to point something out here that the melatonin manufacturer 
was involved in the study because they used a very specific manufacturing process for the melatonin. Melatonin and functional medicine. So you might be wondering, what am I supposed to do if my child has been prescribed melatonin as a long-term solution to sleep problems? Right? It's helpful. It's great. In no way am I saying not to use melatonin whatsoever. But it's more appropriate to actually fix the cause of the sleep problem rather than just take melatonin long term. Diet and working with a functional medicine doctor will focus on fixing the sleep problem so that your child can sleep long term naturally. And that's what we want. We want our kids to be happy and healthy on their own. We don't want our children to be dependent upon melatonin for the rest of their lives. So if you're wondering how, how do I get a long-term natural solution? It's through diet and working with a functional medicine doctor. So for those of you who are curious about how melatonin is used towards the end of the healing journey, right? Cause this might be totally new information to you. After the child and the family, after everyone is sleeping consistently, and some of the beginning issues that are usually resolved when working with a functional medicine doctor. Some of these doctors use small doses of melatonin to help with normalizing gut function again. So we can address things like dysbiosis, motility. A lot of these are what we call fine tuning. So towards the end of the healing journey, these fine tuning of certain biological processes need to be done. Sometimes much smaller doses of melatonin is used. That's why working with a skilled functional medicine practitioner who can determine what your child needs is absolutely vital to healing. And as always, here are some references.